Mueller's report is full of buts. Don Jr. met with the Russians, but Manafort gave internal polling data to a Russian, but Trump obstructed justice every day, but Robert Mueller, he loves big butts and he cannot lie. <laughs> Sometimes it comes down to you. The attorney general is corrupt. The Congress is dysfunctional. What good is leaving a roadmap for impeachment if you know a tribal party before country Republican Senate will never remove the president? Bob, your trail of breadcrumbs isn't good enough. We're not that smart anymore. You have to hit it right at us. This report is summed up in the words, Donald Trump Jr. declined to be voluntarily interviewed. So make him. And you, tough guy, couldn't get the president's taxes? You didn't follow the money? You didn't interview Trump, we're told, because he couldn't possibly testify under oath without perjuring himself? And that's our problem? It's one feckless punt after another. There's nothing wrong with taking information from Russians. That's where we are now. I lay that on Mueller. From now on, you can meet with foreign governments, invite them to hack your opponents, break campaign finance laws, as long as it's by reason of duh. For a guy who didn't want to break precedent by indicting a president, Mueller sure created a lot of new precedents. Because that's what law is, new precedents. It's always evolving. You can't indict a sitting president. It's not in the Constitution. It's not even a law. It's a guideline, like drinking white wine with fish or not fucking your cousin. <laughs> it's a fucking memo. In Watergate, the special prosecutor, Jaworski, faced a very similar guideline, but he understood the big picture and his role in history, and he sued a sitting president anyway. Mueller could have done that, and the headline the next day would have been, Mueller breaks with precedent, indicts Trump, and then that would be our new reality. <laughs>